Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin for a runner 165 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First we need to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the light button. Keep holding the button until the watch turns on. I forgot uh, to mention but you can pair this watch in two ways pair your watch with the phone in two ways. The first way is to do it through the setup process of the watch. So basically if the watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the second way is to do it through the settings after the watch has been already set up because you can set up the watch without pairing it with a phone. First, I'm gonna show you how to do it through the setup uh, process rather. And then I'm gonna show you how to do it through the settings. Okay, so uh, once you turn on the watch and it's uh, brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings, you will see the list of languages on the screen. And you can scroll through this list by using the up and down buttons or the touch screen. So scroll through the list, find the language you would like to use, and once you find it, uh, select it by tapping on it or by pressing the uh, start button. And once you select the language, you will see this pop up. Uh, I selected the wrong language. Uh, let me back down for some reason. Okay, so once you select the language, you will see this pop up, uh, basically asking you if you want to pair your watch with, with a phone. We want to do that, so we're gonna press the uh, start button to confirm, and the watch will enter the pairing mode. Basically, you will see the QR code, and if you swipe down, you will, you will see the message that says to download and install the Garmin Connect application on the phone that you want to pair your watch with. So let's go to our phone. Make sure you, had, you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, uh, Open the App Store on your phone, tap on the search, and type in uh, Garmin Connect. Oh. And then tap on search. And you should see this application, Garmin Connect by Garmin. Tap on install button to download and install it. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on open to open it. In the app, you will need to log in into a Garmin account. If you don't have an account, you can tap on create account button right here. I already have one, so I'm gonna tap on sign in. And check the box, tap next. And enter the email address and password to log in. And then we can tap on next continue. After you log in, you will see this pop up on the screen, tap on allow access, tap on allow. And the app should detect your watch. If it doesn't, you can always press the back button to go back to this page, then press the start button to re-enter the pairing mode. And after the app detects your watch, tap on connect it, tap on allow. Tap on pair. Here tap on next. Right here we can tap on next. Here we can set up or rather allow the notification access. This is helpful if you want to see the notifications from your phone on your watch. If you don't care, you can tap on skip and skip this step. If you want to use it, tap on allow and tap on allow to confirm. Next we have the location permission. This is use useful if you want to uh, track your activities like running, cycli cycling, and stuff like that on the map. Basically, see your route where, when, when you're running and stuff like that. If you want to use this feature, tap on allow location access. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. And if you tap on allow, you will need to tap on permissions, uh, find the location, and tap on allow all the time or allow only while using the app. And then you can go back to the application. Next, we have calendar access. This is useful if you want to see the calendar events and stuff like that on your watch. If you don't care, you can tap on skip to skip it. If you want to allow it, tap on allow and tap on allow. Next, next we have the call log access. This is useful for the notifications. So basically, uh, you, you can see who's calling you and stuff like that. If you want to use the features like that, tap on allow access. If you don't want to, tap on skip. We have the phone call access, the same notifications, managing calls and stuff like that. If you want to use uh, 
stuff like that. Uh, allow the permission, if you don't care, you can tap on skip. And finally, we have the messages. So if you want to see notifications about the messages and stuff like that, allow the permission. If you don't care, you can skip it. And once you're done with the permissions, you can tap on sync now and tap on finish. Here we can uh, go through the tutorial. I'm going to tap on skip and then tap on finish. Not now. Got it. As you can see, the watch appeared right here at the top. We can also tap on more uh, Garmin devices and you should see your uh, for a runner 165 right here on the list of devices. And you can tap on it to open the device page. So that's how you pair the watch through the setup process. Now uh, I'm gonna first change the language. For some reason I changed, it, changed the language even though I selected one. So I'm gonna go to the app, change the language to uh, English. Okay, and now the language should be in English. Let's check. There it is. Okay, so I'm gonna remove the watch from the app and I'm gonna show you how to pair it through the uh, settings. So basically how to enter the pairing mode through the settings so you can connect your watch. Okay, so we need to go to our watch, open the menu by pressing and holding the app button. Then we need to scroll through the menu and find the option called the uh, phone. Once you find it, you need to select this option by pressing start or tapping on it. And here you need to find the option called pair phone and select it. The watch will enter the pairing mode and then you can tap on the plus button right here or tap on more uh, Garmin devices and add device. And basically it will look for the nearby devices. It should detect your watch. And once it does, you can tap on connect it and basically do the same stuff as we did before. So basically set up the uh, sleep time and stuff like that. So tap on connect it, allow. For some reason it failed the pairing, so let's tap on retry. This time it worked. So if it doesn't work the first time, you can always try again, tap and next. Here we can set up the sleep schedules if you want to by tapping on edit. Let's tap next, sync now. And we don't need to deal with the permissions because uh, I already set them up when we were pairing the watch for the first time. But if you install the app and you're pairing it for the first time, you will need to deal with the permissions anyway. Let's tap on finish skip the tutorial, finish, and the watch is right here. So it means it's connected. And we can also open the Garmin devices and it should appear right here at the top. And it is. Okay. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.